Hi, this is Philip from Leftover Treasures. Today we're going to be talking about how to pay for your items after you win them. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now there's many ways to pay. For instance, you can pay from the auction listing page. You can pay from the emails that you receive. You can even pay from the actual item itself. But the best way and the only preferred way to do that is to go from my account and pay from there. So once you click on my account, Naturally, you want to click on orders, and if you do, it'll kind of take you nowhere. The tab you want to click on always for our auctions is the auctions tab. Once you click on the auctions tab, it'll take you to kind of bidding central. Uh, this is a place that's actually not really utilized by a lot of people, and it's actually pretty helpful and essential, uh, especially for this week. Now, it'd be pretty tough to bounce around over several auctions and while you're bidding. Every item has a watch list feature. So when you click the watch list, it will add it to this section here. And you can keep track of basically an unlimited amount of items across several different auctions. So this will be a lot easier to bid on things uh, rather than bouncing around from page to page, whether you're using your desktop or your mobile device. If you add it to your watch list, you can watch everything from one page. Um, but after you win, you're going to click on the Bids 1 tab, and that will show you everything that you've won from these series of auctions. So again, if you click the Pay Now, it is only going to pay for that individual item, which you'll have to do every single time, which is kind of a tedious task. The best way and the easiest way is to scroll down to the bottom, whether you're on your mobile or your desktop device or any device and you click check out all and just before you get to that phase make sure that your billing and your payment methods are set up once you get to the checkout page just verify your all your billing details and the payment or the payment method that's selected is the one you want to use you can go down to order review and review all the items you want and just as important as paying is entering the time you're going to pick up these items. Now on every sale, it is posted when and where uh, you can pick up these items. It's posted on the main page several different times. It is also posted on the item listing in the description and it's located again underneath the timer. So there's many locations uh, where you can pick this item up. So once you figure out, so this case, uh, well this is a different sale, so in this case, it says from two to four. Other, If you need another arrangement, uh, typically give us a call or text uh, before bidding or after you bid, just as long as you let us know, uh, then we we'll, can work something out. So once you know what time you're going to pick up, you can just put anything here. Just as some examples, you can put, I'll be there at two, I'll be there from two to three, or I'll be there at three-ish, how's the weather, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So after all that's done, so you can't proceed unless you fill out all of these required fields with the little red asterisk. So after you click place order, uh, it'll take you to your uh, order review page. Now it does take a little while for it to load, so don't click it multiple times. Don't kind of get discouraged if you think it's taking too long. Just let it do its thing and it'll take you to this page and then you click this button here, view invoice and it'll give you a printable version of this if you guys want to print it out. So that's checking out in a nutshell. Um, it's actually pretty easy when you do it this way. If you have any more questions or you get stuck, you feel free to give us a call at 559-691-6100, and we can also get text messages too. Thanks.